Hi, welcome in this video in which we are going to see what scales you can use to play over the very famous tune Blue Bossa. We are going to start from a very low level with only two scales for the whole tune and then little by little we're going to do some more advanced stuff ending with a lot of scales probably. Let's start with the analysis of the tune. Blue Bossa is in the key of C minor and it starts with a C minor 7 chord that goes to a F minor 7 chord. After that we have a D half diminished, a G7 and then again a C minor 7. This is a very common chord progression in a minor key. It starts with the one chord, the C minor, the chord of the key and then it goes to the 4 chord, a minor 7 chord, and then we have a 2-5-1, which is a very famous chord progression in jazz, in C minor. So the whole thing is in, goes around the chord of C minor, and then we move to E flat minor 7, E flat minor 7, A flat 7, and D flat major 7. This is a 2-5-1 in the key of D flat major. And then we go back to the D half diminished, G7 and C minor 7. So if we zoom out, we see that the whole tune is made of 8 bars of C minor, 4 bars of D flat major, and then again 4 bars of C minor. And this will give us a clue because this will be the two main scales we can use over this tune. So we can use a C minor scale over all the C minor chords, the chords that are in the key of C minor, and then the D flat major scale over the four bars of D flat major. So let's pick the C minor, the harmonic minor scale. C minor harmonic sounds like that. As you can see, I start to play the scale in the order and then I, as soon as possible I try to play melodies in this scale and not only... This doesn't sound so good. And then we play the D flat major scale. So let's see how this can sound if you improvise only with these scales. Of course I'm going to use this case but also chromaticism and also enclosures for example. This is a very common, these are very common melodic stuff that we play when we play jazz. So let's improvise over the backing track and use only these two scales. So only with these two scales it can sound really good as you can hear. There are a few things that I did and a few things that I didn't do to make it sound good. For example, I did some rest. I didn't just play this kind of stuff and also I didn't insist insisted too much on this because this is in the harmonic minor scale and it doesn't sound so jazz. So I mainly used these notes over the 2-5 of C minor. If I don't want this scale to sound too, how can I say that, oriental, 
I don't know if it makes any sense, but... If I don't want this kind of sound, for the two first chords, I can use the C minor, C aeolian scale. It's the same scale as the harmonic minor, but it has this note, a minor seventh. And it will sound much more, much better over these two first chords, the C minor seven and the F minor seven. So if you do this, the C aeolian over these two first chords, and then C harmonic minor, and then D flat major, and then again C harmonic minor, it's already great. It's the second step, <laughs> second level, and it's already, it can sound really good. But we're going to go further and see how we can sound even better and even more jazz. What we can do over this this first chord, the C minor 7, we can play the Dorian mode. It's this scale. It's a C minor scale with an A. And this note is kind of major in a minor scale. It sounds kind of major and it's really a very typical sound of jazz. It's a, a color that we really like to, to use in jazz. So we'll play the C Dorian over C minor 7 and we'll skip to C Aeolian over the F minor 7 chord. If you want to say it in other words, we can say that it's the F Dorian. C Aeolian is the same scale as F Dorian. Anyway, let's think about everything in C. So C Dorian for the first chord. Then this note goes to this note for the C Aeolian. And then the C harmonic minor. Let's see how this can sound over a chorus of the tune. sounds much better, much more jazz, I would say, with this note, the A note. If you are not used to using this Dorian scale, maybe at first it can sound a bit weird, a bit too major for a minor chord, but you'll get used to it. Now let's use another, let's move another step forward and let's use the altered scale. This is a scale, the altered scale, that we can use over a five chord. And we have mainly two five chords in this tune. We have the G7 that goes to the C minor. And we have the A flat 7 that goes to the D flat major. So we can use the G altered scale over this chord. Let's see how we can play this scale. And for the A flat altered scale, it's exactly the same scale, but half a step higher. So this scale can be played over the G7, but also over the D half diminished. So over, over the D half diminished, and G7, we can play the G altered scale. Why? Because we don't have so much time to play this scale and it's better to have two measures to play this scale than only one measure. And it will sound really good because it will create a tension that resolves really well on C minor. On the A flat 7, we can try to play the altered scale only on that, on that chord. So we'll play the D flat major scale over the E flat minor 7, then A flat 
altered scale and then D flat major scale. Before I show you how it can sound when I improvise, it's really a great exercise to do this by your own without any backing track. So for example, I play G altered scale and I see how I can resolve over the C Dorian scale. This sounds great over the C minor. And there I resolve on the major ninth of the C minor chord. Let's apply these new scales over the backing track. These scales are pretty difficult to use. It will probably take you many weeks, many months to be able to know these scales well and to be able to play great lines over these scales. Now let's see another thing that we can do and it will be the top level of this video. We can use a few other scales that sound really good. For example, on this chord, the D half diminished, we can play the D Locrian with a natural nine. The note that is really typical from this scale is the major ninth. So it can be with this chord, for example. Here we can hear the sound of this scale. And the best way to make this scale sound good, if I don't have much time because I only have one bar to make it sound right, I can just arpeggiate the chord and then go to the major ninth and maybe the, the eleventh. With a little chromaticism here. This is a D half diminished with a major ninth and an eleventh. And then I go to the G altered scale. And another scale that I can use is a C melodic minor or the C minor seventh. This scale sounds really good melodically, but I can't really stay very long on the major seventh, for example. But melodically, it sounds really good over this minor chord. Now let's do a last improv over the backing track, over a few choruses of the backing track using all of these scales. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this improv as much as I enjoyed doing it. I also hope that this sounds 
of scales that sound really jazz, I would say, typically jazz. I hope that you like this kind of sound. It takes quite a lot of work to be able to make, it, make them sound good and I hope that the advices I gave you will help you to make them sound even better than what I did. All of the improvs that I did in this video are available for free. You just have to click in the link in the description below. You don't even have to give your email. So. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. Also, I will try to do as many videos in English as possible, even if most of the time I do them in French. And also, you have to know that you can support my work on Patreon. Thank you.